Finding out that we can make syrup in Georgia has been an awesome experience. We've had a whole lot of fun. It was delicious and we will be doing this again and hopefully you guys can too. Uh, and it, not just in Georgia. Tell us if you try it somewhere else, Alabama, anywhere else where it's warmer temperatures. Um, it'd be worthwhile to try and see uh, if you can make certain things. Once you're finished reducing the sap down to a manageable level, now you want to take it inside and that's when the fun part really happens. You're going to turn that reduced sap into syrup. So taking that liquid and pouring it into a pan, carefully bring it up to a boiling temperature. Just a low boil is all you need. And you're going to want a thermometer so you can also monitor the temperature the entire time. Boiling points differ throughout um, throughout the, the world and depends on your elevation and all that. So you'll want to make sure you're taking the temperature properly and keeping track of that. The important thing is looking out for the temperature reading when it gets to be 219 degrees. That is the number because it's going to boil below that number. And once, once the temperature starts to increase, you're paying close attention. When it reaches 219, that's when you want to take it off. You're going to want to filter it through your syrup filter. This is going to remove uh, any impurities and what is left is going to be your syrup. The process is the same for both maple and walnut. If you have access to the hydrometer to look for the bricks level of 66, that is the number you're looking for uh, when it comes to sugar content. If you don't have the hydrometer or a refractometer and you're not able to test it, that 219 degrees is going to be your roundabout number that you're going to look for. So when you reach 219, that is the best temperature and then you can also double check it by using a hydrometer or refractometer. Uh, in this case, I used the hydrometer and you can see we got 66 bricks. So, um, taste test was phenomenal for both the maple and the walnut. Two very different flavors, but delicious nonetheless. Now the amount that we worked with, we didn't have a whole lot. Um, we, we got on this late in the season and this was sort of an experiment for us and it was a su success. So now we know uh, next season that we really really want to try harder um, finishing out the season you want to carefully remove your taps from the tree and clean your equipment and store them for next year the tree will heal over and next season will start again um, since we've done this and we store the syrup in the fridge because of such a low amount we're going to consume it rather quickly um, We've identified other walnut trees on the property and even other maple trees on the property. So next season, we are hoping to have a much better yield. We'll collect more for a longer uh, part of the season. And I think we're gonna have a lot more syrup. This was so much fun. I hope that these videos have been helpful for any of you guys starting a syrup uh, operation. And this is proof that you can do it in Georgia where it is not as cold as other parts of the country, um, you can have success making syrup. Oh yeah.